channel and if you're new welcome for today's video as you saw by the title I am going to be doing a review on the morphe foundation and concealer I know this is coming very last minute but I wanted to do a review for you guys anyway because you guys have been asking me for one I know you guys love 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 when I do foundation reviews so I asked you guys on my Instagram I'll leave my Instagram link down here and listed right here if you guys want to follow me I asked you guys on my Instagram account if you guys wanted to see a foundation review on the Morphe foundation and concealer because I got it and you guys said yes 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 so I decided today to get up and film it for you guys I'm so happy to be back I am fully back this time I'm not going anywhere anytime soon so thank you guys so much for supporting me and sticking around um, and yeah, if you guys want to see how this turned out, my review and my demo, then please continue watching. Oh yeah, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified every single time I upload. <laughs> so for my primer, I'm going to be using the Touch and Soul No Pore Blem Primer. This one right here, I really really like this one because it makes my skin feel feel really nice and tacky and i love that feeling because that just lets you know that whatever you're going to be putting on top of your skin is going to be sticking and it's gonna you know it's not going anywhere anytime soon so i'm just pressing this in and I love doing this with my fingers. I just want a little more because I feel like I wasn't generous enough. You know, and this one is kind of hydrating as well, so it's like the best of both worlds. I already did my eye makeup because I do not like doing my foundation before my eyes when I know that I want to do like a dramatic look and that is what I felt for today so I was like you know what let me do my eyeshadow before jumping into foundation routine so I'm gonna be picking up my foundation now this is the Morphe F410 foundation as you saw in the title of the video probably so I'm just gonna be opening this open <laughs> opening this and I am going to take it from there and I'm just gonna just put a bit on my face oh no this is not my shade anymore I am really burnt so this is supposed to be like a full coverage foundation so I am going to be picking up my beauty sponge by Morphe I think it's called the uh, what is what I don't know I don't know what the name of it is but it's just the one that has like the flat side to it. Oh my god! The coverage on this foundation is insane. I hate the set though. Oh my goodness. Okay, I clearly underestimated the coverage that this foundation would give me. Oh my goodness, this is insane. This is crazy. I love it. Wow. Okay, now I'm going to turn it on, around on the other side. Actually, I'm going to take a piece of paper towel and I'm just going to dab some off because Jesus, this is full coverage. Like, wow. They were not running any joke when they called this 
full coverage because then this can cover up your past and shit. Oh my god. Like, oh my lord. This is extremely full coverage. So this feels really good actually. It doesn't feel tacky. It doesn't feel too matte. Um, it feels really good actually. So for concealer, I'm going to use the C425. And I have never used this. So I'm just going to take this out. And... Highlighting a bit. Shh, this is so tight. Okay, got it. Okay, so if a little bit, I really don't want much right now because the coverage this foundation gives, you literally do don't even need a concealer for this. So I'm gonna take my beauty sponge again, but I'm gonna take it by the tip now, and I am just gonna be concealing the beast mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just the perfect amount of yellow in this like yeah that is good mm -hmm. I am just gonna be bringing it down a bit because I like the way found concealer looks when it's like in a triangle motion like that so I bring it down a bit and then I take it up on my cheekbones and up my temple a bit. So just keep going down. And upward motion. Just like that. I love the undertone in this concealer. Like it is so beautiful. And it's not hard to blend out at all, which is always a plus. I hate concealers that just sit and stick onto your face. Like, I don't like that. Okay, and now whatever is left over, I'm just going to go over my chin. I also love, love highlighting. Hold on. Highlighting like around this area. My nose. I do not highlight my forehead because I already have like a five head and I do not want to bring more attention to it. So I'm just going to go over everything. So I really, really, really like the way this is looking so far. Um, it looks really good and it's not really tacky. Um, it's like it dries down, not extremely matte, but it is okay for me to like move around a little and talk a little before setting it. You know, some concealers you have to set them right away or not, they will start creasing this is just that's not the case with this one so i'm gonna pick up my la colors i heart contour i heart makeup contour palette and i'm gonna be picking up like the banana shade with my exact same beauty sponge i'm gonna pick up the banana shade and the lighter one here at the front and i am going to be setting my under eye area I just love the way this looks. So I'm just going to be setting that and I'm going to be doing the same with the other side. Oh, 
also going to be setting the areas that I highlighted. Now to set my entire face, I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix. I know this is very thick, so I am going to be really light-handed with this and I'm not doing this for extra coverage. I'm just doing it because I like setting my foundation, even though this one does not feel tacky whatsoever. Um, I still like setting my powders, but I mean my foundations. I love setting my foundations. I don't know. It, to me, it just lasts longer and it makes everything look so much better. So that's the purpose. I'm going to be taking the JH01, this big powder brush. This is so big. Um, I'm just going to be taking that. I'm going to be picking up a bit of my powder and I am going to be setting this very lightly. And this foundation is a little darker, so it's going to help. The foundation a lot to get you know like to stay the color of my skin a little bit more so I'm just gonna run this over everything just to make it a little warmer I'm going to be picking up the JH05 first with the Morphe bronzer and this is in the shade Phenom. Phenom? I think so. So I'm going to be picking this up and I'm going to just be swirling my brush into it. I don't know how much I should pick up at once but you know what? I'm not light handed at all as you can see. Um, and I'm just going to be Mm, that is really gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just gonna be contouring or bronzing up, whatever you want to call it. And the reason why I contour like a little higher than my actual cheekbone or the actual point that I want my contour to be at, because it's because I actually blend it out and I go a little further down and i don't know that just gives me the best effect for my face shape i'm gonna be picking up the m518 by morphe wow i'm using everything morphe today and i'm just gonna be contouring my nose a bit be trying to blend everything out so and now I'm gonna pick up the JH02 this big paddle brush and I'm just gonna be blending everything out I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and bronze my forehead and just blend out anything that I've um, and I'm just going to be blending out any excess product that I might have used because I know I can be heavy handed sometimes <laughs> well I'm very heavy handed so I'm going to be blending out as much as I can right now and yeah so I actually love the way this applied. Now I am just going to be taking my blush palette. It feels so heavy. So for blush, I'm going to be taking my Tardius Pro Glow palette. And actually, actually, you know what? I don't want this. I am going to be picking up my Elf blush palette because it is my favorite. 
And I'm just gonna be taking these two shades right here on a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH04 brush. I absolutely love this brush for blush. It is just perfection. Perfection. <laughs> so I'm just going to be applying this in an upward motion because I just love the way my face looks when everything is going upwards. It just looks very, you know, runway type, very structured, you know, defined. And I love that. And yes, I love blush, so I apply lots of blush, lots of blush. <laughs> I apply a lot of blush because that is the first thing that starts fading away. So I go ham, like literally clown cheeks. So we're gonna do that. And this brush is just so soft, like it's perfect for me. Okay, so now that we're at this point, my face looks beautiful. You guys, like, wow. Like the foundation, the powder, everything is looking gorgeous at this point. Um, I really, 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 really like it right now. So let's hope it stays that way the entire day. Now I'm just going to be using some Morphe Continuous Setting Mist just to set everything in place. At this point, I do not look up. I don't like make very. I don't make any facial expressions at this point because anything you do can make your makeup crease at this point because your face is soaking wet. Um, so I try to make as little facial expressions as possible. Don't you guys just love the way your face looks after setting spray? Oh my goodness, the difference is out of this world. So the brush that I love to use for when I want like very glowy skin but not too much heavy highlight, I take the JH06, this bad boy right here. It is so pretty, like it, it is perfect. Like I really, really, really love this brush. And I'm gonna go in with the MAC Oh Darling Skin Finish highlighter or yeah it's a skin finish so I am going to be taking some of that and I'm gonna be putting this on I'm gonna be dusting away a lot of the product because I just want it to look very glowy and I'm gonna be putting it on my nose tip of my nose look at that beautiful on my chin I want to smile and put it on like you know I want it all over my face This is how the foundation looks up close. Like it looks perfect. Okay, so now I'm just gonna be doing my lower lash line, applying my lipstick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is how my skin looks at this point. Like, it looks so pretty. It looks completely poreless right now. Like, I look very, very, very good. Like, this foundation did its job. It's so full coverage. It is insane. Like, I definitely went way too heavy-handed at 
birds as you guys saw but I really 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 love it like it just feels amazing and my skin just looks the best it has looked in weeks at this point you know because I haven't been using a lot of foundation that's why I was so sunburned like I haven't been using lots of foundation when I go out like literally just bare face so it is my fault that I'm that sunburned but my skin looks incredible and I don't even shave my face I know people shave their face but I I just I I'm too I'm too scared to do that but yeah this is how my skin looks up close and personal let me just move my hair out of the way so I hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell and I will see you in my next video Mwah. bye I look so glam from the top, but I am wearing sweatpants right now, like literally. I know, the life of a YouTuber, right? Okay, so now the hardest part, taking pictures for my thumbnail. Yeah, that's always so fun. <laughs>